Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will choose level of accuracy appropriate to limitations of measurement when reported quantities. First of all, let us discuss accuracy. Now accuracy is how close is the measured value to the actual or true value. For example, if you throw four dots and all the four hit the bullseye, then this is called accuracy. Now let us discuss precision. It is a relative of measurement to be consistently reproduced and precise measurements. are close to each other for example if you throw four dots and all the four hit the same spot then this is called precision now let us see one example to find accuracy and precision now suppose actual temperature is 38 degrees Fahrenheit outside the room. Now, when we measured the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit 10 times, we found the following readings. And the readings are 38.0, 38.0, 37.0, 37.0. Thirty-eight point zero, thirty-seven point nine, thirty-eight point zero, thirty-eight point two, thirty-eight point zero, and thirty-seven point nine. Now, all these readings are in degrees Fahrenheit. Now, see, all the readings show a tendency toward a particular value. So there is consistency in the readings and hence there is high precision and also all the values are very near to the actual temperature each time so there is high accuracy. So here we have high precision and high accuracy. Now we shall see how to determine which measurement is more precise? Now you ask two friends for the time. Miley says it's about 3.15 p.m. And Gia says it is 3.13 and 22 seconds then we say that Gia gives more precise measurement of the time because Gia gives the time to the nearest second Thus we see that precision is the level of detail that an instrument can measure. In a similar way, a ruler marked in millimeters is more precise than the ruler marked in centimeters because millimeter is smaller unit than centimeter. Now let us discuss word of significant digits in precision. Now the precision of a measurement depends on the unit of measure being used. The digits you record when we measure are called significant digits and 
these digits indicate the precision of the measurement like 3.1415 is more precise than 3.14 because 3.14 has only three significant digits and 3.1415 has five significant digits Now let us discuss greatest possible error. Now see the following diagram. A block of wood is placed along the edge of a ruler that is marked in tenths of an inch. Now from reading we might say that block of wood is 2.7 inches long. But if our measurement exact, this measurement is approximate Now when we say length of block of wood is 2.7 inches we mean it is Measure to 2.7 inches, then it is to 2.6 inches or to 2.8 inches. Therefore, we measure a block of wood. is between 2.65 inches and 2.75 inches. In other words, the true measure is less than 0.05 inches from 2.7 and is greater than 0.05 inches from 2.7 and can be written as 2.7 plus minus 0.05 inches the value 0.05 is called greatest possible error of measurement And is half of the place value of last digit or we can say that the greatest possible error is one half the place value of the last significant digit as here you can see in 2.7 last significant digit is 7 which is at 10th place so greatest possible error is half of 1 by 10 that is 0.05 Now, in measurement of 4500 feet last significant digit is 5 which is at 100th place So, greatest possible error is equal to half of 100 that is equal to 50 and we write the measurement as 4500 plus minus 50 feet now out of three numbers having same units of measurement 
the number having least error is more precise. For example, in 3 cm and 3.7 cm, error in 3 is 0 0.5 and error in 3.7 is 0 0.05. Now the least error is in 3.7 cm that is 0 0.05. So, it is more precise measurement. Now, out of two numbers having same units of measurement, number having more significant digits is more accurate. Precision also depends on the units of measurement. If the units of measurement are different in two given numbers, like 3 cm and 3.8 km, then smaller unit is more precise unit of measurement so here 3 cm is more precise unit of measurement as centimeters is smaller unit. Now let us see how to calculate values which give more accurate results when we add or multiply two given numbers when the obtained answer should have as many significant digits as in the number having least significant digits from the given numbers it means answer should be no more precise than the least precise measurement Now let us discuss an example. Now let us find area of rectangle whose dimensions are 12.3 cm by 16.86 cm. Now see, area of rectangle will be equal to length into width. So this is equal to 12.3 cm into 16.86 cm which is equal to 207.378 cm square. Now here we can see in the answer we have 6 significant digits but Least number of significant digits are in 12.3 that is 3 it means 12.3 is least precise number so our answer should also contain three significant digits so that it should be no more precise than the least precise measurement. So, round up the given answer to three significant digits. So, we have area is equal to 207 cm square. Now here we have rounded it off to three significant digits. So in this session we have discussed about accuracy and precision of measurement. And this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.